Hey guys, what's up? It's Sunil here from Nilgiri Social. Today we are talking with Hugo. Hugo is running a growth marketing agency that is specialized in personalization marketing. He is helping six figure plus companies achieve their objectives, get more conversions and increase their revenue through personalization, which we'll talk about it more in detail. So let's start. Hey Hugo, what's up? How are you? I'm good, thanks. Good. Okay. So tell us a little about yourself, Hugo, like what you do, what is your experience with Enrich and how did you start Enrich? Sure. Um, actually, how we started Enrich it was because I've always been interested in personalization. I've always liked to deliver VIP experience to people. I've always been super critique about how people should deliver an experience. As a foodie, I like to go in restaurants and I, I like when I have personalized experience. So as a growth marketer, I was thinking, oh, why not mixing growth marketing and personalization at the same time? So that's how mm -hmm. we ended up um, founding Enrich. So basically what we are doing at Enrich, we are helping six figures companies to achieve their goals, their object objectives, uh, they get more conversions, increase their revenue, because it's the direct impact basically, it's like a domino effect. So we're mm -hmm. all doing through one-on-one uh, -on -one personalization marketing and growth marketing strategies. So with that, we're si since there's some industries that are more uh, keen to be targeted by, by personalization, we like to target uh, businesses in insurance, automotive, financial and banking services, telecommunications, real estate, travel, uh, leisure, and hotels, basically. Okay, that's a that's a great journey about yourself, Hugo. You're talking about personalization marketing, right? So tell us a little about personalization marketing, like what it is and what all things you personalize in uh, respect with marketing. Sure. Um, actually, with the agency, what we're doing, we're uh, personalizing every touch point of a of a user. So, like every touch point of the user will have with the, with, with the company, uh, we're trying to personalize it as much as we can with uh, the data that, we, that the company is having. So what personalization is, is basically delivering personalization to the content that the person will, will have access, the, the content or the experience. Uh, so for example, if the person is a cat lover or a dog lover, basically why not showing that person what the person uh, love the most, which is for example, in a cat lover situation would be deliver uh, an experience where we're talking about, we're making reference about cat or in more, more in a business situation, if the person is, um, for example, a freelancer, well, you can talk about more what, like how your, your service would be applied for a freelancer or if that person is a, for example, like a buyer or whatever industry that person is, if you're able to get that information somewhere on the web with the email of the person, well, you can always change the, uh, the information of the website for what the person could be more interested in. So for example, if the person is uh, more into, um, into the digital industry uh, than the, the traditional industry, you would show the, the content from the, the, the digital industry. Um, basically, what we, how we do it, we were tracking the user data with the interest behavior, the lead stage, uh, where the person is. So we're basically identify, identifying the preferences, the habits, the gender, the age, location, and much more. So in another example, for example, uh, Sephora, the, the, if I'm not wrong, they have personalized the experience about the color skin of the people that are, that are having. So for example, if you are um, in a cosmetic industry, that person is having a white skin versus a darker skin, uh, well, you don't want to show them the, the same uh, products because if you go to a, for example, if you go to a, to a store and in real life, and the person is, is recommending recommending you products that you that, that it's obvious that it's not uh, the right product for you, like you will be kind of a uh, you you won't really understand why that person is telling is showing you products that you don't really need. Right. So it's yeah. the same online. In right. And that's how we we personalize. Like that's why we like to personalize experience to to deliver. Uh, an experience that is useful and relevant for the, the person you're talking to. Okay. So that's like giving people what they want, like what they're looking for and what they're interested in, right? 
That's right. That's right. Like, right. Yeah. as I so, said, deliver mm -hmm. the, the right content that it, the relevant content to uh, your, either, either your, your prospects or your actual customers. Right. So why do you think personalization marketing is important? So why, why it's important? Basically, like, as I just said, you, you, you really want to, um, to personalize the experience to deliver like the proper experience the person uh, should have. Basically, that, that person is giving, will give you her or its, I mean, its money uh, in the end. So why not, like, not treating that person as a, just an individual or a number? Like you need to treat that person as an individual that has uh, interest, that has some specific behaviors, that has some specific needs. So by uh, by delivering content that is right for your for each person on your website or on any other channels or or any other on a, any other touch point, it's really important to bring more value uh, mm -hmm. for your company and like to to that person and most people will will see personalization as just um, a simple marketing element but it's much more than that in reality what it is it is an experience that is uh, individual individualized and where you, you're able to have more like a personal dialogue with that person and increase the interest of that person to your offer so by uh, by increasing the the interest of the offer uh, mm -hmm. that you're, you're having, basically you're going to bring a higher conversion rate, which will impact directly your revenue. So basically your revenue will, will increase too. Okay. I think about personalization marketing is like the future of marketing because like you always want to have personalized ads and the marketing should be done at the right place at the right time for the right audience. Right. And uh, so I think personalization marketing will help uh, marketers reach a more targeted demographic, targeted people, uh, so they could convert more, uh, as you just said. Uh, Definitely, like a, a really good example these days is Amazon. Uh, like when when you when you're going to Amazon, they are doing their best to deliver you uh, the right content for you, suggestions that fits your needs. So I know it might feel creepy in some way, but if you're if you're uh, bringing real value based on the information that you have the, uh, on the person, people will be more open to share their information with you. So basically, the way it benefits um, personalization is that you have about like, when someone is going is is uh, looking at your website, just opening a website, it, you have it has about a point five second. Uh, to determine if to determine if that person likes you or not, like likes your website, just like your content, like the, the vibe that the brand. So for every brand or any business, what it means for you is that since a person is one click away from leaving, you really want to 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 interest that person and have that person interact with you. So it's really important important to like treat, as I just said previously, treat your visitors. Um, different from each other, differently from each other, right. and convince them to take action. So that's why personalization is is one of the best option to um, to like bring value, uh, deliver the right experience, increase your your uh, conversion rate, uh, bring in, in, increase your revenue. Like it's all connected to each other. Uh, it's like as I said previously, a, a domino effect. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, so like, uh, why should, uh, how is it, how personalization marketing is different, uh, from traditional marketing? Like what, what, uh, other than personalization makes, makes it, uh, actually different. Sure. Um, I, how it is different is that like the standard marketing will, will have a very good result. I can deny that like good, good, that good marketing without personalization can be can deliver good results, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, when you're doing like SEO, inbound marketing, paid advertising, social media, uh, whatever, uh, like th yeah. there's multiple channels, but personalization is just a top layer on top of it. Like you can do marketing without personalization, of course, but right. personalization will will just bring you to a the second level of marketing. It's where like you, as I like to say, you step up the game to bring one-on-one -on -one, uh, personalization with relevant 
and inter interesting information and content uh, right. that that the visitor um, like needs. And there's there's lots of ways to personalize. Uh, you can personalize uh, your website, your videos, your emails. Yeah. For example, for your website, you can be with um, uh, previously gathered data where you can personalize in real time your content, your call to actions, uh, your testimonials. Right. Um, it could also be based on their behavior, past relationship you had with them. Uh, for video, it could be um, just uh, a video that, that has the information of the person or the, the details um, that, the, that the person... The video is really like the, the website is like really similar, but more, right. more on the video on a video level uh for an email it could be uh sending it it's close for marketing automation but mm -hmm. more on a, on a on a more personalized level send a message to um to um to to someone that has just placed an order uh it could be uh give suggestions for similar items uh mm -hmm. that's about relevant deals can uh, automatically generate personalized content you can update the content in real time like a uh, promotion that is ending in um, five minutes, for example, the countdown can uh, can can run every time and be updated every time the the, the email is open. Then you can always have uh, the weather for uh, the location, the location where the person is traveling. Uh, have the latest hotel deals that is uh, on a, based on a specific location. You can have. I don't know the the balance of your um, account credits uh, that is updated in real time every time you open the email. Uh, I, the content is updated for paid advertising. It could be super targeted, um, mm -hmm. targeted uh, campaigns where you you have just a few people in the campaign, if not only one person in in the in the audience. Uh, there's ways of doing this. So like delivering the the right type of content. Uh, to you, the, the paid advertising audience uh, to different life uh, life cycle the uh, stage of the of their of right. the life cycle basically you can kind of create a funnel and uh, increase your conversion rate by, by doing it so it, it like it's like all channels are connected to all together so mm -hmm. it's really like how you like how deep you want to personalize and how like individualize, you want to deliver your experience to to everyone, to every visitor, basically. Right. Like you said, traditional marketing is on level one. Uh, personalization marketing is on level two. And I think like personalization marketing with added uh, artificial intelligence would be on level three. What are your thoughts on this? Definitely, definitely. I, um, I just had a talk, talk recently with one of my friends that is um, based in, uh, in Shanghai. He has his own... Uh, uh, business on uh, AI and uh, that like we were talking about how personalization uh, the way I was we, we were doing it uh, at the agency uh, was the like the tip of the iceberg of the personalization personalization is right. the okay. bottom part of the marketing of the actual marketing but personalization is the tip of the iceberg of what's coming next in the next years so mm -hmm. definitely like there is loads of companies that are using AI um for personalization and um the, it is definitely the uh, the future of uh, of marketing uh, there's loads of marketers that will probably lose their job because ai will uh take um take, take the lead uh, on this the, the, it's it kind of already have already started but the results are exactly. not uh, yes. good good enough uh yet uh, i had previously um tried uh, some AI tools and and like in, in two days I was able to deliver three times more results uh, with 40 percent less spent than uh, the uh, AI solution but it's just not on point yet but doesn't mean it will be because AI is able to do much more than our brain is able to do it I mean that we are able to do it like it's just faster than us uh, but it mm -hmm. doesn't mean that the um, that the human can't reach the results of an AI. But for now, AI is not on point yet, but it will be soon, in my opinion. Right. How can a beginner uh, start with personalization marketing? Can you name any tools uh, which will help a marketer to personalize their marketing strategies? 
Sure. Uh, there's a tool if you go to uh, the link enrich3, the enrich3.com uh, slash write message, you're, you'll be able to uh, see one of the tools uh, that I'm using. There's okay. multiple uh, tools that you can have, like Optimizely X is one of them that is really well known. Right. Uh, yeah. I, w I would say when, when, it, when it's coming to tools, it's not, a, it's not tools that are missing. It's, um, it's more the knowledge that you have and how you would do it properly because yeah. like everyone can make, can, can start tomorrow doing personalization as everyone can start doing Facebook ads or Google AdWords or creating an, its own website. It just depends on how well you want to do it. Like if you want to do it yourself, exactly. fine, do it yourself. But if you want to have the real knowledge behind it and you want, if you want to have like the, the real people, the, the real good marketers that will help you um, going to the next level uh, for real, well, it, it's better to, to do business with some people are sp that are mm. specialized in that. Right. So I think there are a lot of tools available for everyone, but how you use those tools and how you plan the strategy and how you use your knowledge to make the marketing more personalized for each and every customer. So that, that what makes a difference, right? So yeah, talking about your agency and rich three. So can you tell us any about any case study for personalization marketing for your current clients? Sure. Sure. Um, I'm just going to go through, uh, the four, uh, type of services that we, we have that I just talked about earlier, like website, video, email, yep. and paid advertising. Right. So for example, for, 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 a, for the website part, for an insurance company, it could be a segment of visitors that are interested to a specific type of insurance products, so for example, car, home, uh, travel, or any else. Um, for a car dealer, it could be, or any automotive company, it could be, um, the type of car that they are interested in, uh, the specifications that they want in, they, they, they want a manual car, they want an automatic car, the color, right. they, the color they like. So if, for example, this could also be related to a uh, paid advertising where you show the specific car, the specific color uh, to, the, to the person as a, as a remarketing campaign. Um, you can always adapt the website to show the sub products of that main insurance company for the insurance company. Uh, mm -hmm. So for example, when a person goes in the website, um, they would see um, the, the, the plan of uh, the car insurance they have chosen, or they have not chosen, but they have looked at, which for example, the basic car insurance, or they would see um, the apartment insurance instead of the home insurance, or for a car, and they, uh, they would see uh, just, uh, just a smaller car instead of seeing the, the big car that like, maybe it's not the one that the person is interested in. Uh, they will, they could also see, um, content based on the, uh, on the location, for example, for, for a real estate company, it could be, um, showing on the, on, on the, on the, on the website. Um, for example, if you're looking for a house while well, in a specific location, why not showing, uh, other type of houses that are in the same location? Uh, it could also, uh, before the lead stage, for example, if the person have asked for a quote or not, you can always display content that will help, um, the person to convert if the person haven't and, mm -hmm. uh, and ask for a quote or, uh, personalize the person on the, on its viral journey. So for example, if the person have asked for a quote, you can always show more information or, um, advantages of taking a specific insurance with your business, uh, instead of your competitor. So, um, as you see, there's loads of things that are possible for many industries. Uh, if they have various audiences, various products, various services, mm -hmm. uh, but this is just for the website. So for example, for video, as I just said a bit earlier, earlier, but a bit less in detail. Now we'll, I'll, we'll go a bit deep, deeper yeah. so for, for the video. Uh, it could be, um, for a travel agency or a travel in, insurance company or whatever, for example, just, just travel business. Um, it could be a personalized video where you see the destination where a person is looking to go or have been, and then you can show them updated price, uh, to that are like in, re updated in real time. Uh, and you can, um, do that instead of showing, uh, generic prices. Uh, and then you can also add some personalization element like their name, the actual package they have chosen. So for example, if they are going on a cruise, you can always say, Oh, like we, you, 
let's let's do like something really simple and, and not it's not a good example, but you you will understand. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, oh, you're going on a, on that cruise. We we're, we know that you're going on that cruise. Would you be more interested into that room? And then you show the room, right? And, like an upsell, and then you you say, oh, you like we, we, you you could also do this excursion in the island or do scuba diving or whatever. Uh, would you would you be something interested in? And then you can add some call to actions like that to upsell the person. Uh, to another package and increase the conversion because basically what you're showing in the video is mm-hmm. content that are specific and targeted to um, the person. Right. Uh, for for the email, it could be, as I previously said, uh, content that is a bit in real time, but it could be also uh, emails that are segmented based on the user interest, personal information, locations, or any other relevant data. So it could be for a specific insurance company, uh, for or a car um, company, like business, uh, a car dealership, uh, just a, se- a sale that is ending soon with a countdown, as I just said, um, and then um, this sale will be uh, the type of sale that is interested, that that is interesting for the, the person. So as as I as I said, like targeted, segmented based on their interest, right. Um, could also be a reminder, for example, if the person is uh, have a, a, a his uh, insurance plan or um, that is expiring in a, in in seven days. Well, you can have uh, those days are uh, like changing every time the person is opening the email. Uh, right. say, oh, you have now six days. Now you have five days. Now you have four days, etc. And then the same is apl- is apl- uh, applicable for a limited time. D- time deal on a car or remind you when you need to change your tire right. or when you need to change uh, your oil or for an, uh, an airline it could be what is the status of, uh, of, your, of, your, of your flight? Like, is it delayed? And does it time have changed? How many mm-hmm. time you should, uh, you have left before the plane, the, the plane is taking off. You can always mm-hmm. display the weather of the, the destination. Um, right. Like any, any anything, anything like that that is updated based on uh, the information that you already have on the user. Right. Um, for pre advertising, you could also be um, mm-hmm. dynamic Sorry. ad. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so you go. So we are running a little short on time because, uh, like, Zoom allows only 40 minutes of call and we are already at 38. So, yeah, so I would love to talk about paid advertising, but uh, the thing is like, I would uh, love to do another podcast only on paid advertising because like we are also into Facebook ads, running Facebook ads. So, and my listeners would love to know a lot in detail about personalizing the Facebook and Instagram ads. So like, I would like, uh, love to talk to you, but I would love to have that whole thing or the whole section as a different podcast. So is it a problem? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so for now, uh, just uh, can you can you tell us those two links? Uh, one, uh, one for your website and one for the tool on your website, which you think beginners uh, should use for getting into personalization marketing. Sure. Um, enrich three e n r i c h three the number three dot com and the tool is the same URL but just add after forwards forward slash write message and uh, this will be the way you can have a, a tool that is uh, good for you. It was great talking to you, Hugo. Thanks for having me. Take care.